Hey everybody, so I know that this is a book channel, but since Bob Dylan has won the Nobel Prize, you know, maybe his vinyl records are sort of like, you know, his books, you know, they're like his books of poetry. And at least if you look in the table of contents of his big lyrics book that Simon & Schuster did, you know, all of the albums are listed like, you know, poetry collections would be listed in like collected poems of Louis, Louis Gluck or something. So, um, so I just wanted to show you guys the, the records that I've gotten because there is a record player in my house, so I got records by Bob Dylan. And I've been enjoying having these ones to listen to. Um, it's a very incomplete collection. It's just a few records, but I thought I would just update you all on it because um, my channel is for you know literature lovers, but it's also just for hoarders, plain and simple. So here's the first record I have, um, just the self-titled one, Bob Dylan. Um, and I could say more about this later, but I think it's like a, it's like a 70s uh, press, as they say. It's like later, you know, and it's like in really good shape. And it's got all of these um, songs where he yells a lot and growls a lot. He's basically just growling the whole time. He just growls. I put it on every morning and he, he growls and it sort of annoys me. Uh, and then I don't have any of the, I don't, I actually don't have any of the important ones between that and the country period, unfortunately. I don't have, I don't have any of the, like, long, surreal rock stuff. But one day I may get it, I don't know. But I wanted this country stuff a little more, and I think it's easier to find, too. John Wesley Harding. And this is, like, one of my favorite things that he ever made. Or, and that the that the band he plays with ever made, like that drummer is really good, and everybody on YouTube will will tell you too that he's the best drummer, and all these songs are really good, and I I love how there's like six and six, and they're all so nice, and you can read them and sing them, and you can play them real easy. So this one's yeah. So there's a big gap anyway. And then uh, and then I had the country another country one, Nashville Skyline. And uh, I don't know what else there is to say about this. It's from the self-consciously simple period. I'm into this self-consciously simple Dylan period. And then to cap that period off, we got self-portrait. I've got it, and I love how it opens up. I love how the tracks are written. I love how the tracks progress. I love how the photos look in this like old printing style or whatever. It's just really nice and this album is like a breath of fresh air, and you can see him taking a breath of fresh air on the back. I mean, look at that breath of fresh air. Fresh air. Fresh air. And then this one, uh, I don't know, really care about much, but I, it's Planet Waves. It's uh, got a cool back. I don't know, guys, or guys and gals, people, peeps. Um, uh, this will be the next one to sort of read, I guess. I guess it's in my to-read list, as they say on Goodreads. Okay, everybody. Those are the actual plastic vinyl record things by Bob Dylan that I have. Um because because of uh, my friend's insistence and because you can pick up stuff from Strictly Discs, no contact, and because, sort of because of the Nobel Committee, and also sort of because I'm a songwriter. Anyway, everybody have a good day.